Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is straight out of our wildest dreams. On her 60-stop tour, the 12-time Grammy Award winner has not disappointed, from the 10 studio album setlist, to the outfits, to the surprise guests. So far, Swift has brought out six artists to perform on the stage with her, and fans have been enchanted by each and every one. Already looking ahead, fans have been taking their guesses at who else might show up on stage. Swift has songs that include Keith Urban, who already saw a show but did not perform, Lana Del Rey, Bon Iver, The Chicks, Kendrick Lamar, Zayn Malik, and Ed Sheeran, just to name a few. When Haim opens the tour later this summer, many are hoping they will join Swift to sing No Body, No Crime, which they collaborated on forevermore. Here's all you need to know about the era's tour surprise guests so far. Just a week after kicking off her tour, Marcus Mumford, the Mumford & Sons frontman, joined Swift to sing Cowboy Like Me at her March 25 Las Vegas show. On the song in the Evermore album, Mumford sings only harmonies, but attendees of the concert got to hear him sing a verse. Swift recorded several songs from Evermore and Mumford's home recording studio during the height of the pandemic, and he joined in on the track after stopping in to listen one day. In a TikTok post after the show, Mumford shared the duo's performance, captioning it, You're a bandit like me at Taylor Swift. Three era's tour stops have included Aaron Dessner. The first was the April 14 show in Tampa, where Dessner and Swift sang The Great War, also one of the two surprise songs of the night. He came back for a second night in a row to perform Mad Woman from Folklore. A month later, Dessner joined Swift again at one of her Nashville shows on May 7, where they sang Would've, Could've, Should've in the pouring rain. Indie singer Fee Bridgers opened for some shows in the era's tour, and on her first night as an opener, Bridgers returned to the stage to sing Nothing New with Swift from Red, Taylor's version, from The Vault. For the rest of the May shows, the song held a permanent spot on the set list, so Bridgers joined Swift for shows in Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. Any Swiftie knows that Jack Antonoff plays a major role in the making of many of Swift's songs. During her first New Jersey show on May 26, fans were elated when she brought Antonoff out to sing Reputation hit Getaway Car and play their guitars, as the making of the song was documented in Swift's 2020 Miss Americana documentary. On May 27, the day Swift announced the release of a remix version of Karma featuring Ice Spice, the rapper made an appearance at the end of the New Jersey show to perform the song alongside Swift. Ice Spice ended up sticking around, joining Swift for all three of her New Jersey concerts. Chicago fans were in for a treat when Swift brought one of her favorite artists, as she said that night, Marin Morris, on stage on June 3. For the first time, the duo performed their song, You All Over Me, from Fearless, Taylor's version, from The Vault as they strummed their guitars. Morris took to TikTok after the show to share the performance, writing, Thank you so much for having me at Taylor Swift. Your generosity to me in these last seven years is insurmountable, and I love you so. She added on Instagram, we finally got to play You All Over Me, and I won't ever be shutting up about it. 